It's happening! The first week is uploading! I'm super excited! All hail the bee! Hello artful friends and welcome to week two of the vlogs. Thank you all very much for the amazing, kind, and supportive comments in week one. I have always wanted to vlog like this with this style and this format. I just obviously needed to go to school for it and I am still video editing on Photoshop and it is called Photoshop, not video shop, for a reason. But still, nevertheless, I am doing it and I am thankful that you all are enjoying Enjoying it. So let's get this week started, shall we? Just made our first Etsy order. Oh my god, thank you so much. It was right after I posted the weekly vlog. I appreciate it more than you could ever know. So I am actually heading out to go ship it. And the package is shipped. Gotta get my little man some food and a new harness because I found out he ripped this one. What a devil. Yeah, I got your food already. You don't want this? You don't want this? What do you want, the big bag? No, I can't afford the big bag. Sorry. What you're thinking? I put the dogs like that. Actually, I didn't. I would admit to it. I failed them like that. It was beautiful. So we have to go to a different store to find a harness because they didn't have anything I liked for my buddy. Hey, yeah, did you like any of those harnesses? They were really expensive and they looked like duty. Sorry, it's nothing against the store. I just didn't like them. So we're gonna go somewhere else. More partying for Hiei. Also, I saw a really sad Marimo and it was like dead and it made me cry. It made me cry. I would have filmed it, but I think that's a little too graphic for the internet. You wanna help me eat my Happy Meal? Oh boy, oh boy, the best part, the toy! Oh, it's just the owl. Actually, that's pretty cool. I wonder what it does. All right, do something. I wound you up. Okay, well, that's what I do too when I get really wound up. It's a miracle. They gave me extra fries. There is a god. Yay, knockoff cards. But at least it's holographic. Are you holosexual? I mean, maybe it's not a knockoff, but it's very crumpled, so it's not worth anything. They didn't give me sauce from a nuggie, so I'm a little disappointed here. Eh? You're gonna be a dead little nuggie if you steal my nuggie. Mm. No, sir. Okay, but you can have a french fry. How about that? Sorry for being mean. Yeah, there we go, here. You want something like this? Say no. We may have found a winner. Here, do you like this one? He doesn't care what I do with him. He just likes to be out. Can you tell what the winner was? He looks so cute! You just look so cute in that with your little tie. Stop. Grab the wall. Wiggle like you're gonna make your tail fall off. <sighs> so... I am not saying this to get like a pat on the back or anything like that. I want to just remind people like all of you artful friends and pass it on of just if you can help somebody definitely do. Normally I haven't had money or the ability to help further than like my own means. When I was a teenager I always like saw homeless people who would like approach and they'd come up for money and so instead of giving money I'd give them like here's the number to shelters and here's like actual help further than a few bucks. This time though I was just like out doing my shopping and I saw this homeless guy with a dog and the dog was so well behaved. The dog had a little coat and a collar but this dog was so well behaved it didn't have a leash and it's just following him very calmly and stuff and we actually crossed paths from where we were walking and he was telling his dog like mind your business be nice and like we got super close so like I put my hand out so that the dog could sniff it and the dog like sniffed and he was like oh be nice and I was like oh well she's fine what's her name and he was like Nala and I'm like well hello Nala and I like pet her head and he was like really scared looking he looked horrified and so I was just kind of like Oh my god, I have money in my wallet and I don't have a phone number, but I do have money. So I am so thankful I have this job that I didn't feel fear of, oh my god, I'm giving all my cash away. 
And so I just like handed him what I could, which all I had was a $10 bill. And I was like, I hope you and Nala can get some food. I'm not saying this to get a pat on the back. I'm simply saying this of, if you can't, don't feel bad. But when you can, and when the opportunity presents itself, definitely do. Because you don't know everybody's story and you don't know whose day you can make. And what a change it can make. Yeah, it's only a little bit of money, but from what I have witnessed of like from stories I've heard, my mom used to work at a women's shelter and stuff like that. From what I have heard, a little goes a long way. What a model. Your pet are you so pretty? He are you so cute in your matching shirt. It's the holiday photo shoot time. Nepeta is not happy about it. You don't have to be in it very long, I promise. We're matching today. Everybody's blue. Nepeta, you're drunk. He's so happy. He's so happy. Nepeta looks like a drunk party girl who partied a little too hard. Time to go to work. I will see you after. Off the clock and my car's frozen over. So you've been screaming at me all this time and you already had food? I see how it is. Freezing right now, and I'm starving. So let's go get some food and run my errands. This man has a skeleton wearing a Santa hat in his passenger seat. God bless. So my errand was really simple. Okay, so this is only one errand, but this was absolutely necessary because I was going to salvage the itty bitty little bit that was left in my old deodorant. And then whenever I opened it, the little thing popped off and well, it landed in my toilet. That was my luck last night. That was my luck. It landed in the toilet, I kid you not, and I hated myself. So I needed that. I know I need to sleep, but I also need to be a white bitch and get my mocha. Don't judge me. So I got this new shirt and I've worn it a few times in a row now and thankfully it hasn't been pointed out yet that I've been doing that but I really like it except somebody said that my shirt has split personalities and I proceeded to immediately be like <laughs> me too thankfully they knew what I was talking about and then they proceeded to say that they were gonna go eat a sock but I thought it was hilarious so I really like the shirt even more now. It has split personalities. Were you my good boy while I was gone? Yeah. Oh, you want a hug? Did you miss me? I missed you. I missed you a lot. Yes, I did. I missed you while I was away at work. I missed you. I may have accidentally dropped a few kibbles into your spikes, nimbles. Um, they're on the top of your wee little head. Precious child. I'm so sorry. I think he's too sleepy to understand. So I don't think I've introduced you all yet to my husband. His name is Shusukiyama. I love him very much. Okay, so you knew it was gonna happen eventually, alright? Like, I had to turn into one of those nerds who got a body pillow of a sexy anime character. And I'm not gonna do the pillow, I'm not gonna marry the pillow, but I am gonna cuddle the pillow. I'm lonely. He's been super insane because he thinks for some reason that we're going to go to the dog park. Yeah. Yo, do you think we're going to the dog park? Daddy's sleepy, but ever since Daddy got home, he ain't had the bright idea that he gets to go. So are we going to go? Should I let you out of the car? Yeah? Okay.
Well, it looks like you had fun, you little snake. And of course, you have to take over the gym at the dog park before you leave. Yes, indeed. Ha <laughs> ha. Here, that's mine. That's my stuffy. Just a little decapitation this morning. This is the only thing that's going to keep me going today. Plain coffee. It needs something. Much better. Dr. Coffee. Only been home for like three hours, been cleaning a whole lot because I have an inspection apparently on my apartment. And I found this. He has been a naughty boy while I was away at work. I'm disappointed in you, dude. They are just too sweet to each other and it fucking pisses me off because I'm so lonely. Guys, can I get some love and attention like that too? Maybe not preen me. It's a little weird. I don't need to tell somebody like preen me. Awkward. Alright, so my camera looks really heavy duty now because I got a brand new lens! I mean, I'm very well aware that my mirror is extremely dirty. Every mirror in my house is extremely dirty. I don't know how to wash mirrors, guys. I always make them streaky. But look how heavy duty that is. That is a nice lens. It's just huge and bulky, but it's a wide angle lens and I'm really happy with it because I can fit more things into a frame. That's always nice. Once again, we are here at the dog park. He was supposed to have a play date with his favorite dog, Tad Cooper, but things came up while we were driving here. But you know, he still needs to go to the dog park. I really do. I love you a lot. Probably one of the best dogs ever. One of. One of. Do you see that Gyarados in the gym at the dog park? That's my Gyarados in the gym at the dog park. Oh yeah. Uh, nothing like coming home to the love of your hello here. The love of my life. I love you. I wanted to share something very important to me. So one of my first friends ever started painting. He was my friend whenever I was a kid and he is my age and he just started painting and he and his mom made these cards together. And I will leave the links down below if you are interested. Um, but I thought that I would share these because they actually are really positive and kind. And I know it says God and I am not a religious person by any means, but positive things are still positive things, and I read some of them before I bought them and was like, you know, it has those paintings, and that's really important to me, and a lot of the messages on these are really important to me. Now this one is really important to me. This is one that I definitely need to hang up in my room. These are just absolutely beautiful. This is my first time looking at them, and I am just blown away. These just make me so happy. These really do just, like, brighten my day. This definitely is the one that caught my eye, and the reason why I immediately needed to get these. I already knew I was going to get, like, something from him, 
but then I saw this and I was like, well, I know what I'm getting because I definitely need this one in my life hanging right above my bed. I definitely need it. So these are really amazing and I am very thankful that I got these. I just went through all of them by myself and only shared a few. But these are definitely really great. They will definitely be hanging up in my house. And it is incredible to see how far he has come from the itty bitty little kid that I knew. And now he has a beard. Never saw, thought I'd see that. Oh my god. Where's mine? Grow mustache grow! I thought cats were supposed to hate their owner, or like, eat them when they die, and ignore them when they live. But Nabetta eats me when I'm alive, and she doesn't ignore me. It's weird. Since my last rainbow necklace sold, I was asked to make two different types of pride necklaces. Thank you to every single person who has been messaging me on Etsy. I am excited to create more, so links are down below to my Etsy if you are interested in anything. The rainbow necklace already sold, so I will be making more as soon as possible. Like, I'm gonna work on one right now. And it's done. So pretty. So pretty. And another one is done. All the flags all the pride. Well, the table was clean. I got my brand new shirt and I love it! Oh, hell yes. That'll do it for this week's vlog. Thank you, Artful Friends, for watching. And if you're not an Artful Friend yet, please do hit the subscribe button. Join us and be notified whenever I upload. I mean, click the bell notification so that you can be notified whenever I upload. And I do comment back on all of the comments on the video that I just uploaded in the first 30 minutes. So definitely click that bell notification so that you get notified for those 30 minutes. And because it is Thanksgiving time in America, joy oh boy, Please do leave me a comment of what you are thankful for, even if you're not in America, even if you don't celebrate this holiday, or if you just celebrate it for family obligation. Tell me in the comment section what you're thankful for, because I think we don't need a holiday for that. Just tell me, what are you thankful for? And I will see you all next week. Bye. Say bye.